the two things that we know for sure about the Samsung Galaxy S9 is that it will indeed be called the Galaxy S9 and that it will be launched February 25th in Barcelona. We know that Samsung is gonna be focusing on a major camera upgrade. We're hearing that the larger version, the Galaxy S9 Plus, will have two camera lenses on the back so it can take portrait photos, much like the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which is already out. Uh, we're expecting that the S9 will only have one camera lens on the back. We're hearing that the camera could have some flexibility with the apertures and improved low light and perhaps even faster capture. We're also hearing rumors about super slow motion video, which means that when you go like this, it will look really cool kind of matrix style. We're hearing there could be a new way to unlock the Galaxy S9. It doesn't sound exactly like it's gonna be like the iPhone 10 that sprays out infrared dots and maps your face. Instead, it could be called Intelligence Scan and it could combine Face Unlock with Iris Unlock, which are two mechanisms that already exist in the Galaxy S8 and Note 8 phones. Uh, there are also rumors that the Galaxy S9 could get something kind of like the iPhone 10 and emoji, which can turn your face into animated emojis, um, but it might be a little bit different. We're just not sure at this point. From what we're hearing so far in specs land, there might just be an incremental difference between the S8 and the Note 8 phones, with the exception of the two cameras on the back of the S9 Plus. Um, I'm most interested in if that fingerprint reader moves. In some of the renders we've seen, it's not off on the side anymore by the camera as it was with the S8. It suggested it could be located underneath the camera module display, which would be way more convenient. That would put it in the center of the phone and it would make it look like a lot of other phones that are already out there. But a lot of the other elements could remain the same, including battery, storage capacity, screen ratio, waterproofing, and ability to charge wirelessly. Last year, the Galaxy S8 was the first phone to come out with Qualcomm's latest chip. This year, I think there's a very good chance that the Galaxy S9 will come out with this year's latest chip, which is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. That is supposed to promise much faster speeds, better security, and longer battery life. I think it would be really interesting if Samsung made the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus foldable. We do know that Samsung is going to come out with a foldable phone by the end of 2018. That's what the company told us. However, I think it would be way too risky to do that on a flagship phone. Instead, I think that's gonna be something really niche. Maybe it will only come out in one or two countries and it will sort of be an experiment for Samsung to build on further down the road. Not everybody is gonna want that kind of device. And again, it's just too risky here.